me, Mike Self and I. It's me, Mike Self and I. Me, Mike Self and I. It's me, Mike Self and I. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. It's time for me, Mike Self, me, Mike Self, and I, 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 I am back podcasting. That is what I do. Why am I sleeping? There's no need to sleep. It's time for me, myself, and I. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. I know you're listening. Hello. Welcome back. Yes, at you, listening, in your car, right now. You're pointing at yourself. Me? Yes, you. Me? You. Yes, you. You. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. I'm not li- looking at you. You're not looking at me, but you're listening to me, and I'm listening to you. I know what you're saying right now. Right now. How does he... Wait a minute. Is he really talking to me, the one that's listening? Yes, I'm talking to you. How you doing? How was your weekend? Was everything great? Welcome back to Me, Mike, Self, and I. You're listening to another exciting episode of Me, Mike, Self, and I. How does that feel? How does that make you feel? I'll wait. You tell me. How does listening to me, did you hear me? Did you just hear me stumble? I started again. How does that make you feel? Hmm? You tell me. How does it make you feel that me, myself, and I is in your ear right now? How does that make you feel? Because you're listening to it. You're listening to me. Episode 68. We are at 68, ladies and gentlemen. 68. We are at 68. 68 episodes. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. One hondo. One hondo coming. We're going to do it. We're going to keep going. We are going to keep going because we're at 68. I can't believe it. We're at 68 and I've BSed my way through 68 episodes. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I always, I always do my best. I was like, you know what? I got to write something out every single week because this, these, these, these listeners, they deserve the best. These listeners need a, a quality show. And you know what happens? I procrastinate. I do. I wait to the last minute. I was like, you know, I'm not going to write a show. I'm not going to perform a show. I'm not going to even record a show unless I have something written out, unless I have an outline, a guideline, a something. And I don't. I never do. I don't know why. But you still listen to it. You still listen to me, Mike Self, and I. And I'm trying. And I, I, you know what? I, I, have, I have time, okay? I have time. I have time to write out a show. And my, you know what my vision is? My overall goal for me, myself, and I is to make it a one hour variety show. That's my overall goal. I want you to be entertained 
for an hour. But I realize, crap, that is a lot of work. And I'm not going to wing a one-hour show. I'm not going to BS my way through and talk my way through one-hour show. I am not that talented. I can do 30 minutes. That's no problem. But an hour, that's an extra 30 minutes. That's more than extra 30 minutes. That's, right? 30 plus 30, Mike. What's 30 plus 30? Okay. You almost added another 30 minutes. Did you, did you catch me on that? I'm shit. I'm terrible at math. I'm trying not to cuss. I'm trying my best not to cuss. But I like cussing. I do. I really enjoy cursing because that's how I, I, I express myself. Sure, I can express myself with other words, but why? Why express yourself with other words when the curse words are there for a reason? Curse words are meant to unleash your anger and frustration. You cannot be angry and say fiddly d. You can't. I guarantee you, stub your toe. Stub your, stub your toe on a dresser. And say, ah, fiddly D. Oh, shucks. Gosh darn it. That really stings. No, you can't. When someone cuts you off and what when you're driving, what happens? Oh, gosh darn it. You cut me off. And look at this piece of pie texting and driving at the same time. Oh, and she's freaking Asian. You're not going to say that. You're not going to drive in traffic when someone cuts you off while they're texting and driving and you look and you see that she's an Asian woman. You're going to say it. You're going to say every single curse word that needs to be said. You don't need to be racist. I'm not saying be racist. Okay? Okay. But at the exact same time, when an Asian woman cuts you off, you're like, ah, of course, of course. That's the first thing you say. That is a yes. The one that's listening to right now, you're listening to it right now. The one that, yes, you, that's driving right now. You're listening. You, you know what I'm saying. The first thing you say, ah, oh, of course. Of course she had of course she was Asian that cut me off in texting. Of course she was. But that's okay. Say it in your car. Curse. Curse words are good for the soul. But it's a curse word. Yeah, but it unleashes your anger into one word. Your anger, your frustration, and, and everything, and the world coming at you and bills and, and obnoxious family members and 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 people that you don't want to see and you know everything that's what's what's wrong with the world you let it all out with one word why not don't be afraid and i i i i i i don't understand why it's censored you can't say a curse word that's bad meanwhile you're playing the edited version of scarface on tbs or TNT or whatever station that's that station's still alive. I don't I don't watch TV. <laughs> I watch Hulu, watch Netflix, Amazon Prime. But whatever TV station that's edited that has Scarface on there, you're more upset about the curse words than he's murdering people. First you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the women. Hey, old Tony, come on, man. Freak you, man. Freak you. Freak this guy, man. Okay? This mother flower. This, I told you, Tony. Don't ever try to freak me, Tony. Hey, I don't freak nobody, okay? I All I have in this world is my life, my word, and my balls. And I don't break them from nobody. Freak you, Tony. I told you a long time ago, Tony, not to flabbergast me. You little monkey, I told you not. Who the, who the, who the freak are you talking about, huh? Who the candy ass are you talking about, okay, man? Don't ever try to screw. And then you show Tony Montana murdering and 
murdering people. Look her, look her, look her, look her, look her, look her. She's a junkie, man. Hey, come on, Tony, don't talk to her like that. No, her her womb is so polluted that she's a junkie, man. Who the hell do you think you are, you son of a cow? Huh? Look at that. A junkie, man. And kids, please, please, this should be uh, a must-watch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please, please watch Scarface. It is a great movie. It teaches you <laughs> entrepreneurship. Because what, what did he say? He, you know, Tony doesn't want women first. He wants money, power, then women. And he gets it all. But you never seen him cheat on his wife. Have you noticed that in that movie? If you watch, if you really watch Scarface, he's killed people, he's stole money, he's backstabbed people, but he's never, they didn't show it. They didn't show him with all these other women. They didn't show it. He never cheated on Evita. Never. He may have treated her like crap. He may have done a lot of uh, cocaina, but he never cheated on his wife. And that, my friends, is why Scarface is a decent human being. Look at that pelican fly! Look at that pelican! Can't you stop saying the word freak so much? All you talk about is money. Oh, look, look, what are you, what are you talking about, right? Eh? But he never cheated on his wife. Think about that. Look at that. Watch that movie again. Tony Montana never cheated on his wife. He's a good man even though he murdered people. But he did it for his family. He provided something for his family. Even though he can never have a child, he provided for his family. He stole a woman away from his, from his employer because he saw, I'm going to take this junkie and she's going to be my mind, okay? That's what I'm going to do. She's going to be my mind. Tony, what do you mean? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, that's enough. 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 That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. 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 I know. What's going on in the world today? Hmm. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about what's important. Uh, the movie Shazam. Huh? Did it, did everyone see the movie Shazam yet? I I highly recommend you do. Spoiler alert: It's a fun movie. You should watch it. Take If you have kids, go take your kids and watch that movie. I've seen so many people already talk. I know Shazam's old. It's a week or two weeks old. I already saw that movie. And that movie was blah, 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 blah. It wasn't that great. But you know what? The kids love it. It's fun. Go see Shazam. It's a very fun movie. Go see it in the movie theaters. And I'm, I'm not big on going to the movie theaters. I love spending time at home i love watching movies at home because you can lay on the couch you can pause it you can take a piss you can you know but this movie is meant to be seen in the theater because it's fun it's bright it's vivid it's well, it's just like big it's a superhero big it's just like tom hanks big <gasps> so so it's got a great positive message think about that what would you rather have your kids watch? Shazam or Scarface? Preferably, you should say both. So you show the dark side of life and then show the wonderful side of Shazam. And I looked online and so many... God, man. I, I, you know what? I'm just as bad. We are... We in this society love movies we are very passionate about movies and if something doesn't go right or we see something that's bs we will complain about it we will protest it i was like that i i i admit i'm first i'm guilty okay when i heard there was gonna do a remake of karate kid i was like what and i went online and voiced my opinion for no reason because no one gives a shit because the movie's still gonna get made Okay, same thing with Shazam. People bitched about it. No one cares because the movie got made and it made its money. I haven't seen the new Hellboy yet, but I've heard it was terrible. 
But does that matter? No, because the movie was made. Because And you're talking about it. You're still talking about it. Whether it's good or bad, you're still talking about it. I don't know what Shazam's like. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know what Hellboy's like, this third one. I'm curious, but you know what? You know what? I think people get vocal and angry because movies are expensive now. Okay? If it was if movies were cheap, you wouldn't say a goddamn thing. You wouldn't say one thing wrong with that movie. But the reason why you're complaining, the reason why you're on the keyboards trying to be a critic is because you're dishing out a shitload of money. You're dishing out your time. You're dishing out uh, money towards food. And you just, it's an event, you know? But... If, if movies were cheap, you wouldn't say shit. You wouldn't say one bad thing about it. If movies were 20 cents, I'm going that low in this today's society, would you complain about Hellboy? Probably not. But you forked over money for that, and you're pissed, and you complain about it. I'm guilty too, but that's why I'm trying to figure this out right now. That's the reason why we complain about movies because it's expensive. And they get your money. They know how to get your money. And if you think about this, you got to be careful with movies. I love movies. I love the movie industry. I love filmmaking. I love everything about it. But if I was a shady guy and I figured out how many people are going to go watch this movie at this particular time, don't you think that would be a good time to rob their houses? <laughs> think about that. You have their information if they pay it online. You have all their information. If they pay it through Fandango or Cinemark or whatever it is, whatever it is, you know exactly what time they're going to leave, what movie they're going to watch, how long that movie's going to take, and by the time they get home, their house is broken into. Why am I thinking like a, like a criminal? Because I've seen Scarface. Okay? That's what I'm talking about, man. You watch the Scarface, okay? Then you break in the... Pe- no, that's terrible. That's a terrible thing for me to say. Especially through Holy Week. It's Holy Week, if you haven't realized that. Easter Sunday is coming around the corner. It's right there. We had Palm Sunday. It's Passover. It's the holiest of Holy Weeks. Some people don't believe in that, which is fine. And I understand. I'm not these type of people that go, oh, you don't believe in God? Well, you should go straight to hell for you not believing in the God. I don't do that. I was a preacher's kid, okay? I've, I have when in the middle of July, when people would go out, when kids were playing outside swimming, I was going to adult Bible studies in Spanish. I was like, Dad, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go out and die. But I know that Holy Week is a big deal. And it's weird and unfortunate what happened to Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Notre Dame. Of Holy, on Holy Week, a church is being burnt down. Hasn't been burned down to the ground, so don't don't jump to conclusions and don't get on my case. Oh, I can't believe it's not burned down to the ground; it's just singed. I get it, but but think about that. A church, a very famous church, was engulfed in flames during Holy Week. Sorry for that noise. Now, do do you think it's coincidence? Do you think someone set it up to make a message? Do you think, because I know, I'm not going to get into it, but I know the Catholic Church has a bad rep for everything. I get it. But there are some great people in, in the Catholic Church, the ones that don't go to the Catholic Church. <laughs> I'm just I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Why do you think Notre Dame was burnt down? Was it by accident? Was it by purpose? Or are they trying to make a message? Is it God himself or herself? We don't know if God is a man or a woman. No, God's a man because it says it in the Bible. It said he. Yeah, but if they say God is within all of us, then there are men and women. So that must mean God must be a woman. 
Is God a woman? Mother Earth, right? You call Mother Earth. Well, who created the Earth? God. Father Time, I get. We don't know. We don't know if God is a woman, a man. Hell, maybe God is a parrot or a dove because that's the symbol of Christianity. And it's so funny because people want don't want to question that because they've been drilled in their brains since the day of birth. God is he. He is him. He has risen. God is Jesus. Jesus is God. God is Lord. Lord is God. And the list goes, and it keeps going and going and going and going and going. And we never, ever, ever once say, what if God is a woman? <gasps> How dare you question or come up with a question of yourself to even think or question God? But isn't that the curiosity? Shouldn't we be curious of exactly, is everything in the Holy Bible 100% accurate? No, because they come out with different versions of it every X amount of years. Right? The King James Version, the new, ver there's all these different versions coming out. Why are they coming out with different versions? Are they, they're updating it to translate for today's society. Right? So, if they're updating it, are they taking things out? Are they changing it to make it their direction? Who knows? I know what I know, and what I know is what I believe in my heart. I don't know what God is. I know God exists. I know God is love. I know God is within all of us, and all of us have that same exact power that Jesus Christ had. That's what I know, and that's what I believe, because my heart is saying that right now, and it's coming out of my mouth, which is makes it honest and true. I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying right now. It's just coming out. Whatever's coming out right now is the truth of what I believe in, and what I believe in is that God is love. What if God is not even a person in the sky? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought of that, that God is not a, a, a person looking down upon planet Earth? What if God is planet Earth? What if God is Earth? And inside God is us. And we are all spiritual beings. Has that ever thought? Have you ever thought of that? And what if Jesus Christ found out the truth of our existence? And our existence is unlimited, unlimited possibilities. What if Jesus was telling us that there's no such thing as God in heaven? There is God within us and we have the exact same powers and beliefs and strength that God has. What if? Is that, is that too far-fetched? Is that too far-fetched on Holy Week? Okay. We'll just keep believing that God in heaven is looking down on us and judging us, all of us. Mm, yes. Mm, good person. Mm, bad. Mm, good. Mm, bad. Yes, thumbs up. You can come into heaven. No, thumbs down. You cannot because you don't believe in me. Well, what if I was never taught? Mm, that's your parents' fault. Your parents didn't teach you to believe in me, which is why you are not allowed in heaven. How is it my fault? Well, you should have thought about it. How? I didn't know about God. Well, that's your fault. My parents didn't teach me. Well, whose fault is that? It's not God's. God is infallible. I, ye, the, is infallible. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and I never make a mistake, ever. So it's my fault that my parents didn't teach me about you and I'm being punished and I'm not allowed in heaven? That is correct. How is that possible? I don't want to answer that. But you can never make a mistake? Never. So how do you teach everyone about you if people don't teach me about you? <sighs> 
asking, are you questioning God and my wrath? No, I'm just asking. How do I know about you if no one teaches it to me? Oh, look, a shining star. <laughs> uh, well, folks, you, you got to listen to this, okay? If you are just a great, pure, wonderful human being that cares about life, cares about your, your, your fellow person, your fellow man, woman, child, if you have pure love in your heart, you're going to heaven. Even if you don't believe there is a God, even if you don't believe in the story of Jesus, even if you don't believe in the Holy Bible, even if you don't believe in anything the Bible has to offer, even if you say you're agnostic or atheist, it doesn't matter. If you have pure love in your heart, you are going to heaven because that is what God looks for. Pure love in your heart. If you don't sin because you morally believe it's wrong, no one ha can't, people don't need to teach you that. People, you know what people, this is what they, people need to teach everyone. Follow your gut, okay? When you follow your gut, when your gut says, don't do this internally, you know what I'm talking about. When you, when you walk by someone or you're interacting with someone and you know they have a bad vibe, you could just feel it in them. you just like, oh, I got a weird feeling about this guy. I don't know. I don't think this person's correct. I, 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 I got to walk away. That is your internal instinct telling you to stay away from that person which is God inside of you telling you to stay away from that person. So you know internally what's right from wrong. So if you have that internal instinct and you listen to that internal instinct, you will follow that internal instinct, which means you will do right things, which means you will love the right people, which means you will care for your fellow man, which means you will help out the homeless, which means you'll walk an old lady across the street because you know it's right because internally you are a good person. Now with other people that are, are murderers and psychopaths and stuff, I don't have the answer for that. I wish I did. I'm not a psychologist. I'm just doing, I just know what I know. And what I know is I will follow my internal uh, instinct and my internal instinct is love and what I care about and who I care with, with that. That's, that's the God in us. So follow your internal instincts, okay? Follow your internal instincts and make sure you watch the unedited version of Scarface, okay? Don't watch the edited version of Scarface. Watch it, okay? Because think about it. Scarface, like I said, Scarface murdered. He sold drugs, but he never cheated on his wife because he knew internally that is wrong, <laughs> You can murder, you can sell drugs, but don't cheat on your wife because that is the ultimate damnation. And God is a woman and man and us. Hallelujah. God bless. You've been listening to me, Mike, Self, and I. By the way, I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Waza Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You mentioned the Me, Mike, Self, and I podcast. You will get half off the first month of training. I just got back uh, training in Jiu-Jitsu, and it's been fun. I've been nervous because I hurt my shoulder, and I've been really watching it. But you know what? I almost choked somebody out, and oh, my God, it felt great. It felt really good just to hear someone go, <gasps> because the God in me says, choke him out. Okay. My instinct says, go to Waza Ju Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Mention the Me, Myself, and I podcast and learn how to choke someone out because you never know if you're dealing with a demon. Okay. Be prepared. Okay. Be street smart. Go to Jiu Jitsu. Choke someone out. And I think we're done for today. I think this is, you know, this has been a very fun, wonderful episode. I'm sorry to hear about Notre Dame. I really am. It's a historical uh, church, and it's, but you know, if you think about it, it's got everybody talking about it. It's got everyone united to feel bad for a church that has, that has been around for centuries, 
and it's got us thinking about this holy week. So love one another, love your fellow men, love your fellow family members, be kind to each other, and remember, here we go, here we go, here we go. Salsa! 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 Hey! Hey! Salsa!